Hey everybody, welcome to my for my next division in my series of NFL division previews for the 2022-2023 season. Uh, this video we're going to cover the NFC. And uh, we're going to start with the Atlanta Falcons. And uh, the Falcons start with the New Orleans Saints, the LA Rams. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks and the Cleveland Browns. Uh, I think they will split those four games, giving them a record of two and two, because I don't see. Uh, the Browns being able to mount much of a defense, much of a win loss record against anyone without Deshaun Watson. So, I think they'll split those first four, four, but then I think they will, their next games are Tampa Bay, San Francisco, and Cincinnati. I think they'll lose all three of them. Which will make them two and five. And then they have Carolina. <clears throat> Which I think they'll lose because of. <laughs> My virtue <coughs> of Carolina upgrading from Sam Darnold to <coughs> Baker Mayfield, I think that'll make them much better. So that's Two and six. Then they have Chargers, which I think they'll lose that one to make them two and seven through nine games. Down here. The next two games are against Chicago and Washington. Uh, I could see them splitting those two to go three and seven. If not, we need to go. You know what I'm going to say? I win both of them to go four and six. We can. Pittsburgh. You know what I'm going to say? They win that one to go five and six. Oh, 
I have to let team to win. Losing win. Hold it for team win. Oh, I think I missed the game in there. I did. I skipped over there again and Carolina was going to lose to go team seven. Then I go winning the next team to go four and seven. I guess what yeah. I guess Washington Chicago Pittsburgh Washington so that's five wins. So that's five and nine. After their bye week they have New Orleans, which is a loss to make them go, make them 5 and 10. Then they have Baltimore, which also could be a loss to make them 5 and 11. Arizona. May or may not have something to play for, so they may win that to go 6 and 11. And Tampa Bay will probably, they'll leave that one to 6 and 12. So. Six and twelve for the Falcons. So let's look at Carolina now. Since they're right in this position. I have Cleveland now is a win week one because they don't have Deshaun Watson, so that's a win. The Giants are also a win, so that's win number two. I think they lose to the Saints, so that's two and one for the game. Arizona, I think without uh, DeAndre Hopkins, I think they win that one too, so that's three and one. San Francisco, they might win that one too, to go four and one. But I see two two losses against LA, the Los Angeles Rams, and the Tampa Bay Bucks to go for them to go four and three. Seven. And Atlanta's a win, their fifth win, so I have them at five and three. And then Cincinnati's a loss to go five and four. But then it, 
they play later again the following week with three two windigo six and four Baltimore I'm saying they lose you know six and five <laughs> Oh, next week they have Denver. <coughs> That's a loss. So they were six and six. And then they have their bye week. <coughs> Seattle and Pittsburgh, I think, are both wins. So that's eight and six. Detroit. Uh, Possibly another win to go nine and six or nine and or eight and seven. Tampa's definitely a loss. So let's just give them the point win to make it not nine and six and Tampa loss will drop them down. Seven. And New Orleans, they'll lose that one too, it drops them to nine and eight. <coughs> Which won't be, probably won't be good enough for a playoff. Nice year for a rebuilding team. So let's do take the now. First, let me preface this by saying at some point Tom Brady is going to become so old that you will eventually be a regret <coughs> regression in his now will it be this year? I don't know. But let's take a look at their schedule. And you know what? I'm just right now going to give them a split with the Saints. So they're already one and one on the year. Dallas, they should win. So that's two wins for them. But then, wow. Green Bay and Kansas City. I think they should win both of those, especially given Green Bay and uh, 
in the city of lost major pieces of their offenses from last season, gentlemen. Four and one. Atlanta should be their fifth win, so they're five and one now. Because when, remember, I just said I'm giving them the one win against the Saints. Pittsburgh. Should be a win, so that's win number six and a half. One, two, three. No, that's win number five. Sorry, I had that. So they're five and one now. Carolina is. Should be win number six. Baltimore That one intrigues me. I'm going to give Ball uh well, I'll give Tom Brady the edge on that one to give them win number seven. But out Los Angeles Rams, I have them losing for win loss number two. Seattle, they should keep for win number eight. So heading into their bye week, they should Theoretically, be eight and two. Cleveland, they should win. Especially considering that without Deshaun Watson. So that's win number nine. San Francisco is win number ten. Oh, eleven. Arizona, they should win, which makes them 12 and 3. Carolina, see, they went 12 and 3. I find it hard to believe they won last. Their division up for a so I'm going to say they split the next, their final two games. They go thirteen and four just for the simple fact that they don't wanna get Tom Brady too much rest. Heading into the playoffs. Which is probably going to be good enough to 
when the division. So, now we shall be the final team in the division of the New Orleans Saints. Okay, I'm going to do it that way. Yeah. Just to be safe, I'm going to okay. don't be at random but move to Tampa. Carolina will beat the Blazing Team One. Minnesota they should beat the Storm of Seattle. Cincinnati should is a loss for that loss number one. Well, like with the bumps, I'm going to say they split so that five and two in in week eight. Well, Vegas, I'm going to say they lose to go five and three. Baltimore, I think they win to go six and three. Pittsburgh, I think they win to go seven and three. LA, they'll probably lose to go seven and four. San Francisco will probably be the eighth win. I already told you the Tampa game. I'm split. I'm Yeah, I'm, yeah, Cleveland they should beat the Yeah, I'm gonna say the thing to twelve and six. The other games after the bye week for Tampa, um, after the bye week for Tampa, which I already given you, but 
Atlanta and Cleveland, I think they win. Win number ten and eleven on the year. Uh, and then I think they lose to the Eagles. And then I think they beat Carolina because twelve and six. So. Which is probably a playoff spot. So that's going to do it for this video. Like, share, subscribe, and please watch. Please. So six down, two more to go. Bye for now.